Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits first part. Electronic devices and circuits first part. First of all, semiconductor first topic is semiconductor physics. Semiconductor physics. First of all, we want to know some basics regarding to semiconductor physics. First one, energy band. Energy band. What is this energy band? An enormously large number of energy levels closely spaced in a very small energy range is called energy band. Energy band. Once again, an enormously large number of energy levels closely spaced in a very small energy range is called energy band. Is called energy band. Next. Valency band. Valency band. Valency band. It is valency band. The highest energy band, the highest energy band occupied by the valence electrons is called valence band. Is called valence band. The highest energy band occupied by valence electrons. This band is occupied by valence electrons. Is called valency band valency band and next one conduction band conduction band the range of energy is possessed by conduction electrons possessed by conduction electrons is known as conduction band the band occupied by valence electrons is valency band the band occupied by conduction electrons is called conduction band and next one forbidden band forbidden band forbidden band is nothing but uh, nothing but the two bands that is there are nothing but valence band and conduction band the uh, conduction band is separated by a region the valency band and conduction bands are separated by region in uh, region that region is called forbidden band that region is called forbidden band in this band energy levels cannot exist energy levels cannot exist that means the forbidden band is also called as empty region empty region these empty regions are called band gaps or energy gaps band gaps are energy gaps once again forbidden band what is the forbidden band the above two energy bands that is nothing but valence band and conduction band are separated by regions in which the energy levels cannot exist in which the energy levels cannot exist these forbidden regions are called band gaps or energy gaps these forbidden uh, regions are called band gaps or energy gaps the range of this gap is called forbidden band the range of this gap is called forbidden band that is this is the valency band this is a conduction band what is the valency band the band which uh, possessed by valence electrons and the band which occupied or which possessed by conduction electrons is called conduction band and the gap between this uh, valency band and uh, the, the gap this is the gap the gap between valency band and conduction band is called forbidden band forbidden band in this the energy levels cannot exist the energy levels cannot exist okay next one this is the fermi level what is the fermi level fermi level is nothing but uh, it is the highest energy level the highest energy level filled with electrons at absolute zero is called fermi level the highest energy level filled with electrons at absolute zero at absolute zero is called fermi level is called fermi level and the energy corresponding this fermi level is called fermi energy energy corresponding to this fermi level is called fermi energy okay fermi energy and next topic classic classification of materials classification of materials classification of materials on the basis of this band theory this band theory 
materials are classified into three types materials are classified into three types according to this band theory first one conductors second one insulators third one semiconductors materials are classified into three types first one conductors second one insulators third one semiconductors first of all conductors what are the conductors okay conductors are the materials conductors are the materials which allows the flow of electricity which allows the flow of electricity conductors are materials which allows the flow of electricity okay for this conductors the width of forbidden gap is very less the width of forbidden gap is very less that means what is the forbidden gap it is the gap between valence and conduction band it is a valence band and it is a conduction band conduction band the gap between this valence band and conduction band is very less for this conductors very less for this conductor so electrons can move from valence band to conduction band very easily so electrons can move valence band to conduction band very easily so uh, the electrons moves uh, electron can easily move from this valence band to conduction band and starts the conduction and starts the conduction whenever the temperature of this conductor whenever the temperature of this conductor increases then mobility of electrons increases then mobility of electrons increases and conductivity will decreases then conductivity will decreases okay once again what are the conductors conductors are the materials which allows the flow of electricity through them for this conductor the forbidden gap between uh, the forbidden gap is uh, very very less the forbidden gap is very very less so the electrons can move from valence band to conduction band very easily and then starts the conduction starts the conduction whenever the temperature increases conductivity will be decreases for conductors okay and next to topic next to one uh, insulators second materials second type of material insulators 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 are the materials which does not allow the flow of electricity electric insulators are nothing but insulators are the materials which does not allow the flow of electricity in case of conductors which allows the flow of electricity in case of insulators the insulators are the materials which does not allow the flow of electricity for this insulators the forbidden gap the forbidden gap is very large the forbidden gap is very large it is a conduction band if it is a valency band the gap is very large it is about 6 uh, elec 6 electron volts 6 electron volts for the insulator the forbidden gap is very large it is uh, the the energy gap is nearly 6 electron volts here one electron volt equal to 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joules 10 power minus 19 joules very very important One electron volt equal to 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joules. When whenever we apply very very high voltage, whenever we apply very very high voltage, or at very high temperatures, the insulation may chance to break. The insulation may chance to break. Then starts the conduction. That means. Whenever we apply very high potential, that is uh, in in the that is in uh, kilo volts, in kilo volts or mega volts, then are at very high temperatures, the insulation may chance to break. The insulation may chance to break. Insulation may chance break means then it will starts the conduction. It will starts the conduction. Okay. Next one, third one is nothing but semi conductors semi conductors okay
next one semiconductors semiconductor is a material which behaves as insulator at absolute zero temperature and behaves as conductor at certain high temperature that means semiconductor will behaves both insulator and conductor at uh, absolute zero temperature it acts as a insulator and at very high at a high temperature it acts as a conductor it acts as a conductor that means at high temperature it may, they may uh, at a high temperature it uh, may chance to break the insulation and will it will starts the conduction so at a high temperature it acts as a conductor and the width of this uh, forbidden gap is 1 electron volt 1 electron volt that is uh, the width of forbidden gap for the semiconductor is uh, between uh, uh, insulators and conductors between insulators and conductors it is uh, 1 electron volt for germanium it is uh, 0 0.72 electron volt and for silicon it is 1.1 .1 electron volts at a room temperature at room temperature this germanium and silicon uh, silicon are semiconductor materials germanium and silicon are uh, semiconductor materials so the energy gap lies between conductors and insulators and when we doped with some impurities when we doped with some impurities semiconductors will become conductors semiconductor will becomes conductor okay conductors under stars uh, stars conduction okay semi the semiconductors uh, most common semiconductor materials are germanium and silicon these uh, materials have uh, these have four valence electrons the germanium and sil these uh, materials have four valence electrons okay four valence electrons once again semiconductor semiconductors are the uh, semiconductor is nothing but a uh, which behaves as in insulator at absolute zero temperature and which uh, and it behaves as conductors at certain high temperature the width of uh, this uh, forbidden gap is one electron volts for semiconductors okay okay friends thank you in the next video we will discuss types of semiconductors types of semiconductors okay